Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Nationals 2013. This matchup brings you Northwestern State University out of Louisiana versus Miami University out of Ohio. We uh, start things off here in this first point. Northwestern State pushing up far sideline. And also near sideline. Northwestern State throw too low. Miami pushing back up. Number 10 makes a throw and gets number 5, Toomer, on the foot. A block on number 25, or I'm sorry, 55. <laughs> Northwestern State being very aggressive out the gate here. Miami at a disadvantage every point, only bringing 10 people to Nationals. So they will really have to play hard to uh, to take this game against the upstart Northwestern State University Demons. Some crafty dodging in the neutral zone right now by 55 and 56. Normally that would be an owl for 56 and she dropped the ball he was blocking with. But it actually popped free and hit the ground. So no penalty. Great, great kill and catch by number 55 for Northwestern State. These demons sure are looking good here in this first point. And we have a shot clock violation on Miami. All their balls are forfeited to Northwestern State. Miami with, with six players left in. Northwestern State with the majority of their players left in. Zoom here. Let's see if Northwestern State can make something of this ball advantage. And a nice kill there on a group throw. Takes down a player for Miami. Can't see his number. Oh, and an attempt at a catch there. Takes out what looks like number 35 for Miami. Northwestern State just camped in the neutral zone right now, keeping Miami pinned against their own baseline. Miami resets the shot clock. Northwestern State does the same. Northwestern State biding their time, waiting for their opportunity to catch Miami on a counterattack. And a catch brings back in number 10 for Miami. Northwestern State pushing it to the uh, very end of their shot clock, just about every throw. Oh, and a counterattack just misses there. Miami still with four. Northwestern State falling back as Miami attacks. Northwestern State retaliates but does not claim a red hawk. And 
looks like it's been a uh, shot clock violation on Northwestern State. All their balls are forfeited to Miami. We are back underway here in this first point. Number 10, Avalon, and number nine, making throws for Miami. Oh, that was a nice, nice ball to catch right there. Northwestern State just let it sail right past him. A lot of uh, scrumming going on right there, and a Miami player is taken down. So they were back up to five. I'm sorry, they were back up to six, now down to five players. I'm uncertain right now if Miami has anyone on the court that can grippy. Looks like number seven's gonna give it a shot. And number seven's throw takes down number 48. Or not, it looks like the ball was blocked before it got to him. And a really great catch takes out number 55. Brings back in a Miami player. Number seven goes out on a shot to the legs there. That was number five, Toomer, who had the kill on number seven. Western State, not a player with a lot of, uh, not a team with a lot of players capable of gripping the ball, but their grip throws have improved. And what a sensational catch there by number 48 to whittle the Miami team down to three players. Catch there by a Miami player brings back in one of his teammates. Number two coming back in for the Red Hawks. Number 60 for Northwestern State going out there. Attempt at a cross court there by number 48 just misses the Miami opponent. Number nine takes out Brittany Rogers there on a cross court throw. And number two for Miami going out there on a shot to the chest. Western State pushing up the neutral zone right now with the group throw here on the right side. Does not succeed, but the one on the left side does. Miami whittles down to one player, and it's a shot clock violation. Number nine, uh, Brueggi, maybe? Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, number nine. So we have our third shot clock violation of this point. Seems to be a, a theme this weekend is a lot of uh, a lot of shot clock violations. So we'll see how Northwestern State takes advantage here. And North.
Northwestern State will push up here. A clutch catch there brings back in a second Red Hawk, so Northwestern State really missing his opportunity, although they retaliate and take down number nine. So we are once again back down to one Red Hawk. And that'll do it, number 54 going down for Miami. With, uh, well, we don't really know how much time left here in this uh, first half. Northwestern State takes a 1-0 lead. 